Hey, what's up guys? Staying here from Rocky Creek. Welcome back to the homestead. If you're new with us, welcome. We're glad to have you. So today we're gonna focus on, if you've been with us for a bit, you remember back a few months ago, we actually ended up getting a goose and we added that goose to our flock in hopes it would be a guard goose. And it's actually worked out pretty well. We've really enjoyed the goose. It's been pretty comical, but I want to show you some update on the goose. And we're also getting ready to feed the pigs here and I'll give you an update on our bear situation. So let's go get these guys fed here at the pig pen. And then let's go down here and let's talk about whether or not the guard goose is working out. What's up piggies? Did you have a good day today? Yeah, I know big mama, you're always ready to eat. We're going to get you fed. So guys, while we're down here at the pigs, let's update on the bear attack that we had. Uh, there has been bears back in the area. Uh, I haven't seen any other signs on our property here over the last few days um, of any bear activity. Um, I haven't seen any of its like uh, bear poop on the property. I also haven't seen it on any of our cameras that we have on our house because uh, we do have some Wi-Fi cameras. Some people commented about getting Wi-Fi cameras out here at the animals and we do have wi-fi cameras for our actual residents but i don't have any out here at the pigs because by the time i get over here to their pen and the animals like it just by chance happened to be the distance of each of the animal pens is pretty equal from the home and usually about right when i get to their pens the signal really drops significantly and so i think so some people had mentioned about i could get a wi-fi booster or something like that so i'm probably going to be exploring that option and what I think I'm gonna probably do is I would like to upgrade the cameras on my actual home. So I may upgrade the home cameras and then take those cameras I have and they'll be good for down here at the animals. So if I can get that signal boosted some, that may be a further option down the road. But thus far, we're not catching any bears on our cameras around the residence, which we have in the past. And so far, we haven't had any damage to our fencing. Um, I haven't seen the bear mess with nothing. I think our electrical line has either gotten it and it's gone away or it's at least not messing with these guys right now. Uh, we're a little more than a week and we've had pretty good success. So, so far, no more bear issues since the one was attacked. Real quick too though, before we go down and check out the guard goose is we have started letting the Cornish crosses out to have free reign within the electrified netting. So let's go check them out. I always love when they come running to me when I got the food. So y'all just wait for it. As soon as they see me, you're gonna see a whole lot of white coming running. One of them spots me. The rest are gonna see me in a minute and here they come. So what I tend to do is I pick their feeder up and I put it up here on top of the coop and I fill it up up here because they get so eager to eat it. I kinda, I just spill some food on the ground when they're trying to do it. So I just do it up here and then I set it down on the ground. Uh, this feeder, I've been very pleased with. I actually just found this one recently at Tractor Supply. It's just, I think it's what their brand is, Country Road. And I was shocked. It was only like $16 and it's three feet long. And this thing is working out phenomenal. I really will probably go ahead, if they keep this price, I'm probably gonna pick up two or three more to keep on hand. But let's, let's get these guys fed. And you can see they're ready. So give me some room guys. Twenty-one. So guys, what I've been trying to do is, is when I feed them like this too, because good night, uh, very energetic for Cornish crosses, if you can't tell. Uh, that's why I love these ones from Myers Poultry um, and by raising them this way and getting them moving. But anyways, when I feed them like this with this long feeder, uh, because I do have to be concerned about aerial predators. Um, so far, the fencing has worked great for other predators, but they are susceptible to aerial predators. 
And if I start to notice I'm having an issue, if I lose a bird or two, then I will start isolating them into the coop and move the tractor around. But I really want to try to hope I can get by for the next five or so weeks. I need to raise these guys and let them have a lot of mobility and free ranging and try to live a good chicken life. But when they're eating like this is when I make a point to count them to make sure that we have them all. And I do, I, I, we ordered 20, we got the 21 in, all grew up to be healthy. And right now we still have 21. So fingers crossed, we're gonna get to the end of it with no issues, but right now these guys are growing great. We got them out here running around all over the place now. They're really thinning out this grass big time, even in this pretty large area. Uh, so we may end up moving them into a new area at least one time throughout the rest of their time here with us. But for right now, I'm just gonna keep trying to move this feeder a little bit along with the waters, keep it spaced out. And maybe we can get through the whole time here, but we'll just see. But yeah, guys are doing great and they're now fully out and about doing their thing. All right, but now let's get into what we were really gonna be talking about today is what is an update on the guard goose and whether or not it's really working out. Let's talk a little bit more about that. So guys, how is this goose working out? Honestly, I really enjoy the goose. Uh, we only got the one so that it would view the, the rest of our chicken flock as part of its family. And we are getting ready to head into the time when we had our first problem with hawks that was the catalyst to me getting this goose. So very soon, it's really going to be put to the maximum test and its effectiveness. Now, we do got a couple other things we're going to do this fall that hopefully I get enough time. We're going to add some additional overhead structures that the chickens can get underneath if they sense danger. But right now, watching the mannerisms of this goose and some stuff, it definitely at times when it hears something or sees something of a concern, it squawks, it flaps its wings, and it gets the chickens kind of all alerted to what is going on. And so do I know if the goose will physically attack a predator or try to get between? I don't know. But in terms of alerting right now, I do think it's doing a great job. I do wonder what it may do physically because if you follow us on Instagram, you probably saw a video I posted recently where I said, do you wonder if a guard goose works? Look at this, where I was trying to feed or water the chicks that we have currently acclimating inside of the coop within the dog crate and the goose wants nothing of me messing with it and so like this morning when i'm trying to feed the chicks because they needed food it's dark still because i'm doing it before i go to work i got a headlamp on and the goose is so angry that i'm in here messing with them that it is literally probably at most a foot from my shoulder in my face hissing at me the entire time and i ain't gonna lie i go on search warrants i've arrested some bad mean people but you get no fear in your body like an angry goose six inches from your face hissing at you with this little nasty tongue thing. I don't know what it was. I wouldn't even look at where I was dumping the food. I dumped it all over the floor. I made a mess, but they still got food for the day because of the goose wanted nothing to do with it. So I'm gonna go in here and check on the chicks and oftentimes the goose will follow me in there because it's very upset that I'm messing with them. So we'll see if it happens. Maybe I can show you on camera. I'm not gonna intentionally instigate the goose, but maybe you can get an idea of why we have it. I see you, I hear you. Were you mad that I was messing with them? So actually this evening, the goose is being rather reserved. Uh, I could hear it outside of the coop hissing a little bit. And it looked like from where I was at on the inside, uh, Starfire Spotty, one of the two, I just could tell it was black and white, was kind of blocking it from coming back in. Um, and usually in the afternoons when I feed, that's what it does a lot. It'll kind of poke its head through the door and hiss at me some. The biggest time when it's super protective is when everybody's in the coop for the night. And so what I'll do is I'll bring y'all out here with me real quick here in just a little bit. Once it gets dark and I check just to make sure everybody got in for the night because I did have about a week ago, uh, one of our welsomers that I call Waddles was for whatever reason didn't go in the coop at night. And so I had to physically put her in. That's a very rare occasion. I think only twice since I've had the automatic door have I had to physically put a chicken in because for some reason it didn't make it in in time. 
but I'll come out here just to make sure everybody's in there and you'll really get to see what that goose does when I come in there just to check on everybody. So we'll bring you right back as soon as it gets dark. All right guys, so it's not completely dark yet as you can tell, but all the birds are in the coop and all I keep seeing is the goose pacing back and forth like some kind of military soldier. So I'll show you what kind of is going on. So guys, I'm not really trying to mess with her too much because I really don't like to instigate my animals. But I did just want to show you kind of an idea of, yes, a, a guard goose definitely, I feel like, will do its job if you only end up with one. Because, I mean, as soon as I come back here, it starts up again. Uh, but like I told you, it's not like overly aggressive coming at me. But I don't really try to get too close and really try to push the envelope too much because I don't want to mess with it too bad. So guys, that's going to wrap stuff up for today. I hope you found that pretty interesting on how that goose acted once things got dark. Uh, this was a little afternoon after I got off work. The weather was nice. We ate dinner a little bit earlier than we normally do. So I had a little extra time today during the week to go ahead and share with you some little updates. Uh, you know, things are working out good with the bear now. Hopefully some of the stop measures we have for right now will continue to work. Uh, but as the bear goes into hibernation and we stop having to worry about that, leaves are going to be off the trees and we're going to end up having to worry about our aerial predators again with our chickens. And we're curious to see whether or not old crazy guard goose here is going to work out. In my opinion, the guard goose has probably been one of my favorite additions we've done in quite a long time. Its personality is very interesting. The breed that we have here, which I'm pretty sure is a Toulouse. We got it from Rural King though, and they don't specify, but for everything I'm looking at, tells me it's a Toulouse. It's not overly loud, it's not obnoxious. The temperament seems to be pretty good. Even though it gets kind of defensive, it has not yet to attack us at all. Uh, so to me, it's doing its job, and it's doing its job to a level that's not interfering with our family and us doing what we need to with the chickens. So for me, the single goose here has been great, and it's probably something I'll probably maintain moving forward. If you're having issues with some predators or you want a little extra line of protection and you want a goose that isn't too loud, this may be one to be considering. Now, when it gets worked up, it can make quite a bit of noise, so I'm not going to say it's super quiet, but it's doing its job to the level that I would like to see that is acceptable to the environment that I live in and a few homes that are in close proximity that I'm not bothering them. Honestly, I think my rooster makes more noise than the actual goose does. So guys, I appreciate y'all coming along. Hope you enjoy this little update. Appreciate y'all that gave me some advice and tips on our, on our bear issue. We hope everybody's doing well, and we'll see you here real soon next time we're with you on our next episode. Thanks, guys. Y'all take care.